Good morning, dear students. Am I audible? Am I audible, dear students? Okay. Good morning, Nippon, OP, Wesley. Good to see some familiar names here. We'll just start in another uh, minute or so. Let's wait for a few other students to join in. So before we start, all those who are here, yes, all those who are here, I would just like to tell you that uh, we will be having every day from Tuesday to Saturday. Yes, uh, Tuesday to Saturday, PSM quick revision, the course that I have designed for you, we'll be having it every day, Tuesday to Saturday at 10 a.m. And the course is called PSM quick revision. In this PSM quick revision, uh, there are episodes to this uh, revision. Okay, revision every day. Definitely, there are going to be MCQs with the important topics that you want to learn. Okay, because I uh, we couldn't meet yesterday. Today, I am starting with biostatistics, one of the most important topic for. Um, NEET PG, FMG, AIMS, JIPMER, everything. There is no escape from biostatistics. And I always keep getting this question that biostats me kya parna hai, kya nahi parna hai. So this week I am spacing biostats today, tomorrow, and maybe on Thursday as well. Okay. And then we will have a TND of biostatistics on Saturday on whatever you are studying. Today, you can also drop in the topics that you want to study in this entire July. We are here meeting at 10 to 11. So as many of you can join in, it will be good for you because again and again, I'm telling you PSM is one such subject which will help you fetch a rank. Today at 5 p.m., I'm doing a YouTube session also on high yielding topics for PSM. For NEET PG, FMG, you can join in. Uh, look at the all the high yielding topics that I have to tell you and what questions are exactly asked. Is that okay? Give me a thumbs up if you're listening and you're okay with this schedule that I'm planning for you. Okay? Uh, stethoscope, Shikha, Rachita, Garima, good to see familiar names. Please put out the topics that you want to learn. We can just give two minutes to that before we proceed to the MCQs. Um, so uh, let me know any other topics. Next week, I'm planning national health programs where I will be covering tuberculosis elimination program, national AIDS control program, vector bond diseases, and RMN CH plus A as the top priorities. All right. OK, everybody, is that OK? OK, uh, please drop in the message in your other groups also so that more number of students can join in. I think all of you know this is a free class, but this is just a teaser or a trailer of what actually happens in the um, uh, crash courses or the concise course. OK, so all those who are new to this platform, uh, just uh, one minute it's going to take. I'm Dr. Neha, your mentor and guide for PSM. So you can follow me on my Instagram, on my YouTube, on my Telegram, and you can subscribe to my concise course, which is starting from, uh, yes, which is starting from this one, 13th of July to 15th of August. There we're going to discuss all the high yielding MCQs, topics, chapter wise discussion yoga, and it's like a crash course. And in one month, we're going to cover the entire PSM. All right with concept revision and MCQs. So you can use my code Dr. Neha 10 to get a 10% off on an academy. Is it OK? All right. So uh, you just have to. It is. Is it for PG or FMG? Uh, TS, this particular session that we're having on biostats today is definitely for all you students. Ticket crash course is also can be joined by PG and FMG students all because eight mahine mein a quick revision of PSM is going to happen. So you have nothing to lose. It will, uh, you know, it will, uh, you will be able to revise everything along with MCQs and it will be like a brush up and a def and an opportunity that you should not miss. All right. Okay. So are you okay with the topic of biostats today? Are you okay with the topic of biostats today? All right. Again and again, I'm saying you can drop in whichever you want to study over the coming weeks. So today, biostats, I have spaced into two topics, measures of central tendency, graphical representation, and a law, and uh, types of variables. All right. Okay. 
so uh, meanwhile please put out on your groups also to join in the students should join in this is a free class make most use of it okay so the first question is which is the most affected measure of central tendency all right so now mark your answers read it very carefully all right which is the most uh, classes for one hour dr nishu if you're here for the, which class if you're talking about the crash course or the concise course that will be every day 7:30 to 9:30 pm to us okay all right good uh, okay so i see om prakash please do not put your answer on the comment section uh, wait for the poll to end pehle poll karo then we'll be discussing all the answers all right is it okay give me a thumbs up if it's okay with everybody okay so i see uh, i can see uh, most of you have got it 60% of you got it correct all right so the most affected measure of central tendency is mean okay now a quick revision why is mean the most affected measure of central tendency why not median why not mode all right so let us quickly go to the discussion part okay good, good morning to everybody those who are joining in uh, currently we are discussing psm mcqs or uh, of biostats today all the high yielding topics we are going to cover okay i would again ask each one of you to please put it out on your group so that more and more students can join in it's a free session make use of it all those who have joined in this is the first question which is the most affected measure of central tendency theek hai so iska answer hai mean now why what why is mean the most affected measure of central tendency all right so my first question to all of you is what are the measures of central tendency put in the comment section below quickly so this is our first topic of the day measures of central tendency we're going to do all the mcqs pertaining to it also okay what are the measures of central tendency put in the comment section below mean median mode very good so there are three measures okay mean median and mode all right okay now uh, we all know that what is this central tendency means or what is the meaning of central central means that value okay which is representative okay of a data set it is the meaning of central is that particular value which is representative of a data set now look very carefully suppose we have a class of 50 students and we have the weight of 50 students in the class uh, of 12th class manlo it is 51 62 81.3 all right so on and so forth 41.4 uh okay shikha we will discuss that also all right okay yes so 51 yes, 62 81.3 41.4 50.6 90.2 aise karke aapke paas weights hote hain all right so these are individual weights which is that weight which is representative of this data set okay that will be the central value okay which could be mean median mode are you with me did you understand okay from that data set there will be one value which will be representative of that data set all right that is the central value around which all these individual values will be clustered is it okay are you with me give me a thumbs up if you're with me all right so we spoke about mean mean ka formula kya hota hai let us quickly uh, sorry let us quickly see here then i will tell you why is the mean most affected measure of central tendency okay mean is nothing but sum of all observations theek hai sum of all observations divided by the total number of observations theek hai that is mean okay and what is median median is the middle value okay when you arrange your data okay when data is arranged in ascending theek hai or descending order theek hai and what is mode mode is the most repeated value theek hai in a data set are you clear with this definition 
uh, they they ask this also in the MCQ straight away. They give the definition of mean, median, mode, and you have to answer which is the correct one. Now, all those who joined in late, this was our first question: which is the most affected measure of central tendency? Now, why is mean most affected measure? They go. If you look at this formula, when you are going to do the mean, you are taking into account all the observations. Okay, but when you are doing the median, you will only be taking the middle value. So even if you have outliers in your data set, okay, outliers are extreme values which will pull your data to either side. Okay, that will not be included because you only have to take the middle value. Mode me kya hota hai? It's the most repeated value. Now it is not necessary that outlier will be the repeated value. Therefore, which is the most affected measure of central tendency? This was a repeated NEET PG question. It is mean. Is it okay to everybody? Do you did you understand? All right. Now I will ask you one question here. That one second before we go to the next question, I will ask you another question. All right, which is which is the best i just want the answer to this because we've already discussed it which is the best measure of central tendency for skewed data all right which is the best measure of central tendency very good roy it is median everybody do you remember this okay for skewed data that means that outliers are present so it is going to pull my data to either side all right and therefore, when your data is arranged in ascending or descending order, the outliers will go to one extreme and will not be included. That is why uh, the best measure of central tendency for statistical for skewed data is median. All right. Uske baad, I have a question for that stethoscope user. Just wait for the question. I think I have it the very next one. Okay. Then you're going to understand it better. All right. Okay. And the last question for all of you is statistically speaking, okay, statistically speaking, which is the best measure of central tendency? So which is the best measure of central tendency, guys? Put in the comment section below. Which is the best measure of central tendency? Statistically, if we speak, which is the best measure? Measure mean. Very good, Roy. Okay. Mean is the best measure of stat central tendency because it is taking into account all the observations. Okay. So now is it clear to everybody? Statistically speaking, which is the best measure of central tendency? Which is the best measure of central tendency for skewed data? And also most affected measure of central tendency. Is it okay? Now can we go to the next? question so i hope none of you are going to do this uh, going to make a mistake in this okay chalo let's go to the next question yes the incidence of malaria in an area was let me mark uh, let me start the poll for 30 seconds and uh, you can mark it guys please put out the message uh, on your groups as well for people to join in this is an important session to cover biostatistics the answer, Deko, I do not see people getting the right answer. The incidence of malaria in an area is so many. Okay, 20, 20, 50, 56. Okay. Yeah, one second. Yes. All right. So I see that I got a number of mixed answers in this. Abhi dekho. Let me, uh, before we discuss it, least affected, very good Anurag. Ab isme dekho. This was one of the NEET PG 2017 questions. Okay. The incidence of malaria in an area is 20, 20, 50, 56, 60, 5000, 678, 898. 345 and 456 which of these methods is the best to calculate the average incidence Abhi, isme apne kya dekha? which what is that all the values that you think of are okay other than this 5000 
okay this is very different from rest of the values the incidence in a particular class and in, uh, in a particular area of malaria this value is like very different all right what is this value called guys put in the comment section below what is this value called what is this value in a data called kya hai ye we just did it outliers very good rachita so if you look at this data set you can make out from here that outliers is present in the data set so if outlier is present in a data set what does it mean it means that it is a skewed data all right skewed data hai ye so skewed data mein kya hota hai my uh, my distribution would either be pulled to the right or to the left yes skewed data now for a skewed data agar aap isme mean lagaoge what is going to happen you will be taking into account all the observations 20 plus 20 plus 50 56 60 5000 also aap usme calculate karoge right so you will be taking into account all the observations all right but if you uh, calculate median in this तो आप जब इसको असेंडिंग या डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर में लाइक अरेंज करोगे 5000 इज गोइंग टू मूव टुवर्ड्स वन एक्सट्रीम इज इट ओके एंड दिस विल नॉट बी कंसीडर्ड देयरफॉर द बेस्ट मेथड टू कैलकुलेट द एवरेज इंसिडेंस ओवर हियर इज व्हिच वन मीडियम इज इट क्लियर टू एवरीबॉडी नाउ व्हाई इज इट नॉट मोर बिकॉज़ मे बी दिस आउटलायर इज नॉट द मोस्ट रिपीटेड वैल्यू ओके जरूरी नहीं है कि 5000 मोस्ट रिपीटेड वैल्यू होगा दिस कुड बी रिपीट दिस कुड बी कमिंग ओनली वंस ऑल राइट इज इट ओके एवरीबॉडी देयरफॉर द बेस्ट मेथड टू कैलकुलेट एवरेज इंसिडेंस इन केस ऑफ अ आउटलायर और अ स्क्यूड डेटा इज मीडियम डेटा सेट ध्यान से देखना अगर ऐसा क्वेश्चन आता है तो उसमें आउटलायर होगा ही होगा इज इट ओके इज इट ओके टू एवरीबॉडी ऑल राइट गिव मी अ थम्स अप इफ इट्स फाइन विद एवरीबॉडी All right. Now let us go to the next question. ठीक है? Okay. Are you ready to do this? This was asked in NEET PG 2017. So mark it very carefully. All these topics you do not study and you end up making mistakes. All right. Out of eleven births in a hospital, five babies weighed over two point five kg and five weighed less than two point five kg. So my question is, what value does two point five represents? Okay. Out of eleven births in a hospital, five babies weighed over two point five kg and five babies weighed over uh, less than this. Okay. So I see that only thirty two percent of you have got it correct. Okay, so Doctor Nishu Goel is leading with two out of three. Anurag two out of three. Grish Grishma two out of three. T S. All right, no problem. All of you, uh, these are difficult topics, and you need to, you know, be sure of what you're doing. So you need to learn it very nicely. Abhi isme dekho. Out of eleven births in a hospital, okay, what happened? Five babies weighed over two point five kg, and five weighed less than. 2.5 मतलब जितने भी बर्ड्स हुए और राइट 11 बर्ड्स हुए 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 नाउ सपोज आर यू लिसनिंग टू मी गिव मी अ थम्स अप इफ यू आर लिसनिंग टू मी गिव मी अ थम्स अप दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यू ठीक है सपोज देयर वर 11 बर्ड्स इन अ हॉस्पिटल 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 ठीक है सो 11 बर्ड्स हुए हॉस्पिटल में एंड 5 वेड One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five weighed less than two point five kg. Okay, and five weighed five babies weighed over. That means one, two, three, four, five. These five weighed over two point five kg. Now, what is this? Put in the comment section below. What is this? What do you call this value here? What is it? Put in the comment section below. ये value यहाँ पे क्या है? Median है. What is it actually? This is the middle value. Now is it clear to everybody? It was very simple. All right. Now uh, 
five just draw it 11 births way five babies weighed over 2.5 kg and five babies weighed less than 2.5 kg so here what value does this 2.5 represents this is the middle value and so this becomes the median is it okay to everybody so the correct answer here was median uh, is it okay to everybody did you understand this why it cannot be the mode because we do not know that if this value is the most often repeated value or not that we are not aware of okay all right did you understand everyone all right okay can we go to the next question mean definitely nahi hoga because hame kahin se bhi ye nahi pata chal raha what are the other values and whether observations uh, average needs to be taken or not okay chalo let us go to the next question Okay, this is a very simple question. We are talking about measures of central tendency. So mark the answer to this. A very, very simple question. Which can have more than one value? Mean, median, mode, any of the above. Mark Karo, which can have more than one value? Yes, this is a very simple and a very easy question. Om Prakash, let's poll it first. Then you can give your answers in the comment section. Okay. So again, I see that only 50% of you are getting it right. Okay, let's let the poll, poll end. Okay, so the correct answer to it, Dr. Nishu is leading 3 out of 4, Anurag 3 out of 4, Grishma 3 out of 4. All right. Now, which, which can have more than one value? So what is the definition? What is the definition of mean, guys? It is the total of all observations divided by the number of observations. So obviously, I mean, nahi hai. Okay. what is median? Median is the middle value when arranged in ascending or descending order. What is mode? Mode is what? That the number of times a particular value has been repeated. That means it can have more than one value. All right. So the correct answer to this is mode. Is it clear to everybody? This was very simple. The correct answer to this is mode. More than one value or they can ask you which value is repeated more often. Okay, so just keep these definitions in mind and you'll be able to understand it. Is it clear? Give me a thumbs up if it is clear to everybody. Okay, all right. Now let us go to the next question. Now, Dhyan Se Padho, somebody was asking me this. This is the Ames PG May 2015 question. Okay, in a survey of sleep. All right. So let me uh, first mark the answer for you. Yes. Now read it very carefully. In a survey of sleep apnea scores among 10%, 10 the highest value obtained of 58 was wrongly recorded as 85. This will affect the final results as. Very good. I see most of you are getting it right. Very good. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. All right. So 60% of you have got this answer correct. Now, isme kya pucha tha? Uh, let's discuss it. I'll share the leatherboard at the end. In a survey of sleep apnea scores among 10%, the highest value obtained of 58 was regarded as 85. Now, that means you have 10 values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And the highest value that was obtained of 58, actually it was 58, but it was wrongly recorded as 85. So when you are going to calculate the mean, what is mean? Mean is total observations, the sum of total observations divided by the number of observations, right? So here, when you're going to divide, when you're going to add up all the observations, instead of 58, you will be adding up 85. So obviously, your mean is going to increase. You know, you have to do 10 plus 12 plus 13 plus 58. You will be doing 10 plus 15 plus 18 plus 85. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? Okay, give me a thumbs up if it's clear to everyone. So you will be adding up 85 instead of 58. So obviously your mean is going to increase. 
ठीक है बट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मीडियन मीडियन में क्या होगा दैट द हाईएस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ़ ऑफ़ 58 वाज रिकॉर्डेड एज 85 दैट मींस दैट इट्स द हाईएस्ट वैल्यू सो व्हेन यू गोइंग टू अरेंज योर डेटा इन असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर दिस वैल्यू इज गोइंग टू गो टू वन एक्सट्रीम all right therefore this will not be included in the calculation that will not be the middle value therefore there will be no change in the median is it okay to everybody it's a very simple question it will lead to increase in a mean however there will be no change in the median okay these questions have been repeated very often and you cannot afford to make a mistake in these questions okay all right now can we go to the next question is it clear okay can we go to the next question chalo the next question is this is a straight away neat pg question you don't have to use your minds a lot uh, you just need to know the formula for this okay so mark the correct formula for this that's it you don't have to think about a lot you need to know what is the current uh, correct formula for bimodal distribution so bimodal distribution represented by mod yes yes i see 50% of you are getting it correct all right okay bimodal distribution is represented by okay so uh, don't uh, beat your brains around this a lot the correct answer to this is okay so anurag is leading 516 ts 516 rest 4 on 6 okay no problem all of you are doing good so bimodal distribution is represented by this formula just know this formula these are direct questions and you these are done by statistical softwares only so you just need to know this that mod is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean is it okay is it clear to everybody all right okay can we go to the next question of biostatistics theek hai okay Now tell me this question. This is a NEET PG 2017 question. This can also be asked in your FMG examination. Okay, centile divides data in two. So let me mark the correct answer. This is very important. Centile divides the data in two. How many equal parts? Is it hundred? Is it four? Is it ten? Is it twenty? So what are these? these questions you know these questions of dividing the data into certain parts is very important okay these are certain repeated questions all right and also most important questions okay so i see that only 33% of you got it correct okay no problem so bala murugan is leading 5 on 7 good okay dr nishu also 5 on 7 anurag also okay now dekho centile divides the data into 100 equal parts okay now what is this uh, dividing the data thing all right now if you remember we have i'll put it in a new slide just pay very good attention to this these are very important questions we have a concept of quartiles okay quartiles kya hote hain this is my data set a quartile divides my data okay into four equal parts okay yes very good dr nishu quartile divides my data into four equal parts so four equal parts mein we have three quartiles okay now see if we have a data from 0 to 100 these are my three quartiles that have been divided my data into 1 2 3 4 four equal parts is it okay and these four parts yahan pe dekho these four parts are 25% each is it okay to everybody this is very simple all right similarly if i ask you pentile can anybody tell me pentile divides your data into how many equal parts pentile divides your data into five equal parts okay uh, so aise karke agar aap banaoge your data is from 0 to 100 okay and uh, nipon if you think if you have some doubt please put in the comment section below theek hai now pentile is going to divide my data into five equal parts so 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so although it divides my data into five equal parts 
All right, we have four pentyls. Is it clear? ये फर्स्ट पार्ट में डिवाइड किया ये सेकेंड पार्ट में डिवाइड किया ये थर्ड पार्ट में ये फोर्थ पार्ट में ये फिफ्थ पार्ट में सो वॉट हैपन्स वी हैव फोर पेंटाइल्स विद द डेटा इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फाइव इक्वल पार्ट एंड ईच डेटा रिप्रेजेंट हंड्रेड बाई फाइव कर दो वेरी गुड रचिता ट्वेंटी परसेंट ईच इज इट क्लियर टू एवरीबडी is it clear this concept you also have an mcq to solve from this which is very important okay so this is about the pentyle a pentyle is divided in, into five equal parts with the help of four pentyles similarly the question that was asked to all of you the question that was asked is centile so centile divides my data into 100 equal parts okay so ऐसे करके अगर मेरे पास डेटा होगा माय सेंटाइल इज गोइंग टू डिवाइड इट इनटू हंड्रेड इक्वल पार्ट्स सो ईच पार्ट वुड बी व्हाट वन बाय हंड्रेड ओके एंड आई एम गोइंग टू हैव नाइनटी नाइन सेंटाइल्स ओके इट इज डिवाइडिंग इट इनटू हंड्रेड इक्वल पार्ट्स बट आई विल बी हैविंग नाइनटी नाइन is it clear to everybody give me a thumbs up if it is clear to everybody did you all understand this concept this is very very important theek hai aur isme dekho they have asked in neat pg also they have asked in other entrances also all right is it okay to everybody all right so can we go to the next question now uh, this concept if it is clear you will be able to answer the next question as well okay okay now think very carefully and mark this all right okay let me put your poll let me put the answer to this first now read it very carefully blood pressure data of 200 persons were collected the first quartile bp of data was itna and third quartile was 110 how many patients lie between third and fourth quartile guys look at this number look at this number look at the total number before you answer it all right so six yes lessons i gave you a hint you were able to answer it good look at this total number before you answer your question all right okay okay i'll share the leather board at the end okay so yahan pe maine mujhe kya pucha mujhe bola blood pressure data of 200 persons were collected that means i have 1 to 200 people mere paas 200 log hain theek hai first quartile bp was itna third quartile was itna how many patients lie between third and fourth quartile that means i am talking about suppose 0 to 200 and i am talking about quartiles that means i have four parts theek hai but these four parts are constituted by what q1 q2 and q3 three quartiles right so each part is having 25% 25% this you all know 25% 25% ab yahan pe dekho we have 200 people all right so 200 people matlab if you're going to distribute it ye kitna ho jayega this is 50 All right. This is fifty. This is fifty. This is fifty. So between the third and fourth quartile, this is the Q three and this is the Q four. Q three se pehle kitte log hai? One fifty. Q three ke baad kitte log hai? Fifty. Is it clear to everybody? Now do you understand it? Give me a thumbs up if you understand it. So this question is going. This answer is going to come fifty. Is it okay? तुम अपने सोचो क्वार्टाइल्स में हमने डिवाइड किया यू डिड नॉट वरी अबाउट दिस 94 और 110 वैल्यूज ओके यू हैव डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर पार्ट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ थ्री क्वार्टाइल्स एंड ईच पार्ट इज 25 25 25 ईच तो Q3 uh, how many patients lie between third and fourth obviously 50 if they'd ask you how many patients lie between Q2 and Q4 it will be 100 is it clear all right can we go to the next question okay all right so these are some of the basic questions that you need to know now tell me the answer to this this was asked in one of the neat pg examinations which type of diagram it is you know that we're getting a lot of image based questions these days okay so this graphical representation of data is very important all right okay so which type of uh, this thing is this All right so i see 75% of you are getting it correct yes this is what this is a let everybody poll in okay mm -hmm. 
yes okay all right so 67% of you have got it correct all right uh theek hai so i see that 67% of you got it correct this is what this is a box and whisker plot abhi hum pehle we'll understand what it is now mark first this one now mark this one what is this what is this mark this i'm trying to show you the images of all those four options so that you can get an idea this is very simple you should not make a mistake the hint is there in the question only what is this yes very good 70% of you are getting it right all right great so i am going to show you the pictures at a stretch only all right so that you understand it better yes okay theek hai all right okay so 70% of you got it right now sometimes in the question only there's a hint stem and leaf so obviously this is a stem and leaf plot theek hai now come to this again the same question mark it the options are the same i just want to show you the figures of all the four so that you can remember it yes mark it identify the statistical diagram shown in the photograph wo kya hai identify karo okay so i see 86% of you have got it correct think carefully uh, all of you should get it right you're getting confused between funnel and forest plot so i will show you the other picture also all right okay so 80% of you got it right this statistical diagram shown over here is a funnel plot i'll tell you what each one does okay now mark this what is this so at a stretch you finished four image based questions now mark this what is this what is left to mark now so nobody should get it wrong all right okay so i think we can stop the poll now this is a forest plot now sabse pehle let us go are you clear with these images keep them in your mind let's go to this one first this is a box and whisker plot okay i'll tell you what does a box and whisker plot do and why did we put it here because we were studying about quartiles okay box and whisker plot is one of the best ways to represent quartiles theek hai to ye kaise banta hai ye dekho aise hota hai all right yahan pe ek box hota hai okay and here you have your quartiles uh, um, uh one second yes here you have your three quartiles ha huh. here you have your three quartiles theek okay. hai this is your q1 this is your q2 median and this is your q3 so at the edge of the box we have quartiles which are represented like this this q2 is nothing but your median okay and these are your whiskers okay whiskers represent smallest value and greatest values okay now please remember you do not need to go into too much of a detail because these are mostly pg level questions what they are going to ask you is the figure so this is a box and a whisker plot okay and yaha box ke andar ek level upar ja ke they can ask you what does this edge represent so these edge represents q1 and q3 first and third quartile and beach mein it represents the median or the second quartile okay and these are the whiskers so this is the smallest value and this is the greatest value is it okay to everybody have you understood this so graphical representation of quartiles okay graphical representation of quartiles is done by please remember box and whiskers and this question they have not just restricted to aims this is also asked in neat pg nowadays okay so this is it the other one let's come to this figure this is a stem and leaf figure this is nothing but a graphical representation of frequencies okay 
graphical representation of frequencies. Ab isme dekho kaise. This is the stem. One, two, three, four. We keep on writing it. Now one kitne values mein aaya? Ten mein bhi hai, fifteen mein bhi hai. Okay, so we write it as zero five. We will not write thirty one because thirty one is part of three. ओके सो थ्री किसमें किसमें है वन में भी है सिक्स में भी है इज इट ओके यू डू नॉट नीड टू थिंक अबाउट इट अ लॉट जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट इन अ स्टेम एंड लीफ प्लॉट यू हैव अ स्टेम एंड यू हैव अ लीफ योर स्टेम इज लाइक दिस सपोज दिस इज टू हाउ मेनी लीव आर ऑफ टू दैट मीन्स इज देर अ ट्वेंटी टू इज देर अ ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज देर अ ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फोर इज इट क्लियर टू एवरीबडी थम्स अप इफ दिस This stem and leaf वाला thing is clear to all of you. Okay, so exam में क्या होगा? This stem and this leaf will not be written. Okay, you will just be given these numbers. All right. So remember this diagram. So remember the diagram of box and whisker plot. Remember the diagram of stem and leaf. ठीक है? All right. Now this is what this is nothing but. देखो, this is like a funnel. This is nothing but. Uh, used to represent publication bias. Just know this term in meta-analysis. Nothing else. Okay, this is used to represent publication bias in meta-analysis. Is it okay to everybody? This is like a funnel. ऐसा picture आएगा आपको ये picture में अंदर क्या लिखा है कैसे होता है That is a PG level question. For you, they are restricting to what, what is what does this figure represent? So this is a uh, publication bias in meta analysis. Is it okay? All right. Next, what is this? This figure is nothing but a forest plot. So don't get confused. See, it's me confused. Nee hona hai because students end up marking this as forest plot. No. This is a funnel. Look at the shape of it. Okay, it has a good shape to be identified with something. Okay, so this is a funnel, and this one is a forest plot. What is a forest plot used to do? This provides a pooled estimate value. Okay, pooled estimate value in meta analysis. Now I have already told you meta analysis is analysis of analysis. If uh, you have done a study on depression among university student, I have done. Somebody else has done. Shikha has done. Om has done. Everybody has done. When I'm doing a meta analysis, I'm going to do an analysis of all the values that each one of you obtained, and I am going to provide a pooled estimate. This is this. These are represented by these diamonds. Okay, and so this is known as forest plot, and it gives you the pooled estimate in meta analysis. Is it okay? Give me a thumbs up if it's okay for everybody. All right. Okay. Now can we go to the next question, everybody? So once again, just have a look. This is a box and whisker plot for representation of quartiles. This is a stem and leaf diagram for representation of frequencies. बहुत important है ये सब आजकल पूछते हैं. This is a funnel plot for representation of publication bias, and this is a forest plot for representation of, uh, for providing pooled estimate values in meta analysis. Is it okay? Will you remember these four figures? ठीक है? चलो next uh, go to this. Think very carefully. Okay. All of the following shows relationship between two variables except. So this question has also come in the NEET PG. So, मुझे बताओ, what is the answer to this? Okay. Uh, meanwhile, you're uh, marking it. Please tell me. I have seen a trend over here that when we are talking about, uh, you know, when we are discussing uh, papers, previous year papers. Uh, students are more interested in learning. Suppose I meet PG twenty two. This is just a interaction for a minute. Please give me uh, your uh, suggestions regarding this. That whenever we have say a meet PG twenty twenty discussion, or yeah, FMG twenty nineteen discussion, or yeah, AIMS June twenty twenty paper discussion, students are more interested to learn. So. Uh, Since we are offering free classes for 10 to 11, please give me an honest opinion. Do you want to solve previous year question papers um, for PSM within the span of uh, I think uh, 15 20 days, or do you want to to study topic wise? Please tell me and put in the co comment section because I want more and more students to be here. I have seen earlier we were having. 
150 students, 100 students, because I have been discussing previous year questions and more people turned up. But now today we just are having biostats. So some of you are turning up. So please tell me uh, how do you want to go about it? Everybody, please put in because I don't want this inflow of students to. All right. So um, again, previous year, previous year, previous year, previous year, topic wise, previous year. Okay, so uh, topic wise, even topic wise, previous year questions. Previous year with topic of that previous year. Okay, uh, so suppose we're doing talking about biostatistics, then all the all the questions that have been what I'm discussing now are questions from previous years only. Make videos on programs if possible. Dr. Neetu, you can visit my uh, YouTube channel, Dr. Neha Taneja's Community Medicine. It has a lot of videos on programs. The link is here also. You'll find it. Okay. Question papers. Okay. So what question paper do you want to discuss tomorrow? Let's go. Just say question papers. And we can discuss three topics of the question paper. Put in the comment section below. What question paper do you want to discuss tomorrow? Because you're the best ones to tell us what exactly, uh, for how many days. Uh, this is a special class, 10 to 11. All right. So every day we'll, we'll be having at 10 to 11. Tomorrow we'll be having it in the afternoon from around 2 p.m. I'll be scheduling it. But from Thursday till I think uh, 25th of July, we'll be having it every day, 10 to 11. Okay, FMG NEET and AIMS question paper. So I will do one thing. I will be putting out question papers only. All right, previous years that have been asked. And that way we should proceed because we'll be getting more and more uh, answers. Okay. So tomorrow I will schedule PSM uh, NEET PG ka jo 2020, uh, 2020 mein aya hai. Whatever is left, we are still left with 20 questions. Is that okay? Is that okay? Give me a thumbs up if it's fine with all of you. We have had two uh, days discussion on that. Tomorrow we'll be having another 20 questions from that. Is it okay? All right. So I want all of you to be there. So let's proceed uh, with previous year questions so that in that one hour, you are able to solve as many PSM questions as possible. I think that would be nice, right? Okay. Meanwhile, for national health program, what I request kiya hai to learn about tuberculosis elimination program. So I will keep one day for that lecture also. Okay. National tuberculosis elimination program, the latest changes and all. Is it okay? So tomorrow, yes, we will be doing PGI paper, AIMS paper. So let us go paper wise so that you're able to solve as many MCQs as possible. Also, FMG paper, we can have two days. Is it OK? I think that is a better approach because I see a trend when we discuss papers. Uh, there's a, a number of students are there, like more than 100 every time. OK, so we'll stick to discussing papers. So you get an overview of a lot of questions. Okay? So tomorrow we are going to discuss NEET PG 2020. Uh, almost 15 or uh, 10 questions are still remaining 10 to 12, 15. So we will complete them tomorrow. Is it OK? All right. Okay, and tomorrow the class would be around 2 p.m. Is the time okay with everybody? Because I have some work at 10 a.m. So we'll be, uh, I'll be scheduling it for some somewhere 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. Is it okay with everybody? And from Thursday onwards, it will be every day at 10 a.m. Other than Sundays. Okay? Is it okay? So we'll be doing previous year's MCQs. Okay? All right. Okay, now uh, the question to this was, I saw most of you, a few of you got it wrong. All of the following show relationship between two variables except. Now, they could, the answer to this is line chart. Now, what is correlation coefficient regression scatter diagram? Correlation coefficient or scatter diagram is used to represent correlation between okay, two quantitative variables. Okay, I've told this earlier also, a scatter diagram is used to represent relationship between two quantitative variables like height and weight. 
ठीक है सो अभी एक फिगर भी आएगा यूल गेट एन आइडिया सो दैट इज अटर डायग्राम एंड इट रेप्रेजेंट को रिलेशन सी आई टेल यू वन थिंग और वेट देर आर थ्री टर्म्स लिस इन वेरी केयरफुल दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एसोसिएशन को रिलेशन रिग्रेशन हाउ मनी ऑफ यू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज थ्री टर्म्स पुट इन द कॉमन सेक्शन हाउ मनी ऑफ यू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एसोसिएशन को रिलेशन रिग्रेशन जिस पुट अ येस और अ नो these are three very important terms how many of you know the difference between association correlation bala does not know okay ts does not know so does so most of you do not know now listen to me very carefully this is the basis of biostatistics theek hai koi baat nahi association means that two variables okay occur more often than expected by chance theek hai bachcho log two variables are come more often than expected by chance that means when i'm doing a study on lung cancer every time smoking is associated when i'm doing a study on lung cancer if you are doing a study if jashwit is doing a study on lung cancer among boys he sees smoking is there nilaksh nilaksh is doing she sees smoking is associated sneha shish is doing they see smoking is associated so uh, smoking is always associated with lung cancer more often than expected by chance this association is expressed by what what is the variables that express strength of association guys go back to your epidemiology put in the comment section below see this is how you link and study which is the uh, method or what Uh, the top parameters express the strength of association very good relative risk and odds ratio so now is it clear the term uh, the term the meaning of association are be clear ho gaya theek hai what is correlation correlation means what is what will happen if one if one value increases or decreases okay so yahan pe kya hota hai suppose this is weight and this is height this is my dependent variable this is my independent variable dependent variable is the outcome variable so what happens to the weight of a person when there is a change in the height of a person say by one unit okay and this is represented by scatters like this dots like this if you draw a line this line will cut through maximum dots okay so correlation means if there is one unit increase in height how much is the change in weight okay that weight could increase also decrease also that is given by correlation coefficient abhi hum dekhenge is it okay did you understand the meaning of correlation suppose if uh, suppose here i have विटामिन ए इनटेक ठीक है यहाँ पे आई हैव इंटेस्टाइनल कैंसर सो इसको मैं कैसे रिप्रेजेंट करूंगी बाय स्कैटर डायग्राम दैट मीन्स सॉरी दिस विल बी अगेटिव वन बिकॉज इफ आई टेक वाई इफ वन यूनिट इनटेक ऑफ वाइटमिन ए विल लीड टू हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स डिक्लाइन इन इंटेस्टाइनल कैंसर ओके सो दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ को रिलेशन एक बढ़ेगा तो दूसरे पे क्या असर होगा ठीक है एंड वॉट इज रिग्रेशन रिग्रेशन मीन्स दैट हाउ मेनी लाइक लंग कैंसर की बात करें लंग कैंसर इज से एन आउटकम वेरिएबल ओके इट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ स्मोकिंग सो स्मोकिंग इज अ इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल हाउ मेनी अदर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स एग्जिस्ट दैट अफेक्ट लंग कैंसर नाउ यू आर ओके विद इट सो रिग्रेशन से वी आर ट्राइंग टू स्टडी हाउ मेनी अदर variables are associated with a particular outcome variable is it clear to everybody give me a thumbs up if this concept is clear to everybody give me a thumbs up every one of you give me a thumbs up agar aapko ye samajh aaya these three terms are very important now come back to this mcq this is very important all of the following uh, show relationship between okay मैम प्लीज रिपीट ओके देखो एसोसिएशन क्या होता है ध्यान से सुनो नो बट इज गोइंग टू टेल यू दीज थ्री टर्म्स ओके रिग्रेशन एसोसिएशन हो गया टू टू वेरिएबल्स अकर मोर ऑफन दैन एक्सपेक्टेड बाय चांस वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट लंग कैंसर स्मोकिंग इज दे एनी बडी हुई परफॉर्मिंग स्टडी ऑन स्मोकिंग इन द यूनिवर्स और राइट All right. Yes, all. All right. Okay. Whenever we talk about lung cancer, smoking is always going to be associated. A term associated with it. Okay. So it means. 
two variables occur more often than expected by chance that is association what is correlation correlation means what is going to uh, uh, happen to my dependent variable or my outcome variable if there is a change in my independent variable like what is like this figure what is going to happen to the weight of a person if there is one unit change in height of the person all right that is correlated how these two things are correlated if one increases what happens to the other does it increase decrease or it remains the same all right okay and what is regression regression is nothing but one value okay one outcome variable like lung cancer is you know is associated with how many other is dependent on how many other independent variables it's not that lung cancer is only dependent on smoking there are other variables also in which it is dependent so regression shows the effect of all those variables together on my outcome which is say in this case lung cancer now do you understand this concept now do you understand give me a thumbs up if you understand this concept guys please don't forget these terms okay so if you come back to this question all of the following show relationship between two variables except so obviously correlation coefficient is showing a relationship i just told you if one increases what is the effect on another done regression i told you relationship here uh, there exists a relationship between the outcome variable and the other variables scatter diagram is used to represent correlation uh, between two uh, variables okay what is line chart line chart is nothing but figure aise aata hai this is how a line chart looks a line chart could be like this could be like this this is nothing but it shows the trends of event over a period of time okay what does this mean this means that how many cases of say measles occurred in june july august september winters versus summer so this shows a trend of event over a period of time the frequencies could increase could decrease could increase could decrease could remain same like this okay so this is not showing an association between two variables this is just showing a trend of an event how are cases of measles progressing is it okay yes kajal are you thinking something is everybody clear with this concept trend of events over a period of time theek hai samajh mein aa gaya so this is very very important all right this is what is represented by um a line graph is it okay so please remember the terms association correlation regression and also this figure of line chart or line graph this represents trend yes covid trend could be represented by a line graph all right okay can we go to the next question for the day all right let's do one more question very easy uh, this was just a repeated question market i i just keep giving this question so that you don't get confused between a histogram and a bar diagram i want all of you to mark it correctly nobody should see that is what is happening that most some of you still get confused between a bar chart and a histogram what is the histogram and what is the bar chart histogram is used to represent quantitative data theek hai bar chart is used to represent qualitative data theek hai all right okay so i'll just share your letter boards also once so that you can have an idea of how many of you marked the 14 questions may what was your scoring ts is leading 11 out of 14 so see the people still end up making mistakes in bio statistics theek hai there is nothing to worry keep attending the classes you will get to it all right okay all right so uh, this figure this figure was nothing but a histogram all right why is it a histogram histogram does not have space between the bars okay let me show you another figure if i have uh, yes this what is this mark this answer once what is this i'm telling you jashwit what is this what is this this has space between the bars so what is it histogram is used to represent a quantitative data bar graph is used to represent qualitative data so 90% of you got it correct okay let's stop the timer and discuss it now here what is happening here it is happening that there is space between the bars so when there is space between the bars it is a bar diagram 
okay this is the most versatile of all statistical diagrams okay and this is one of the most commonly used okay so this is very important most versatile of all statistical diagrams most commonly used and you have what you have space between the bars okay this represents a bar diagram discrete data discrete data matlab it will represent say gender so it can only have two values like male female or a transgender somebody cannot be between you know like uh, there will be no in between values or religion okay somebody could be muslim hindu christian you cannot be in between hindu and muslims all right so that is what a bar diagram does so a last thing that i will write for the day is representation of data okay what are the methods that represent quantitative data and what are the methods or graphs that represent qualitative data pay very good attention quantitative data most important is histogram okay this is best to represent continuous variables like height weight okay mean bp what are continuous variables those variables that can also take in between values okay fir ho gaya tumhara are you with me give me a thumbs up frequency polygon frequency curve theek hai all of them ask you questions like all of the following represent quantitative data except okay then you have uh, a line chart okay you also have a um or oh, jive yes anurag or a cumulative frequency curve theek hai and the last one is a scatter diagram so this you need to remember all right yes anurag for qualitative most important is bar graph fir aata hai aapka pie chart fir aata hai aapka pictogram okay and also spot map is it okay is it okay to everybody all right okay so just remember keep in mind the mcqs that biostats ka we did today and also please keep in mind the um uh, also keep in yes when diagram is also there okay when diagram come chance they are going to ask you but you must know the common ones theek hai and uh, tomorrow is it okay then we will be sticking to previous year question paper discussions all right so in that way one hour you will be able to get an idea of a lot of topics and you will be able to get mark a lot of things okay yes so we are here almost continuously for 15 days 10 to 11 i will meet you tomorrow the session uh, will not be able to be conducted at 10 am it will be conducted at 2 pm or 3 pm is the time okay with you 2 pm or 3 pm is it okay all right so um that time we're going to discuss all the remaining neat pg 2020 mcqs is it okay then another day i will schedule for aims pg aims ka jo 2020 mein aaya hai ya 2019 mein aaya hai that we can discuss is it okay to everybody all right you can keep suggesting me please visit my telegram link this is the telegram code this is my instagram this is my youtube use my referral code dr neha 10 get a 10% or off on uh, an academy thank you jashwit if you like the class please visit my an academy profile drop in a few good words that motivates us also teachers all right and my crash course on psm is starting from 13th of july to 14th of august just take one month subscription and you can get an access to all 19 educators who will be teaching you live online teaching is the call of the day now all right so tomorrow around 2 pm or 3 pm we will have the class and we will be talking about previous years papers is that okay okay so give me a thumbs up if it's fine with everybody all right okay so be healthy be safe today at 5 pm i'm doing a youtube session on all high yielding topics of psm what you need to study for neat pg 2021 do come and visit these topics are also common for fmg and most of the other entrance examinations okay 5 pm on youtube so hope to see you all there is it mcq wise jashwit we are having a discussion on what important topics have to be covered in psm ठीक है टुमारो एवरीथिंग विल बी अ प्रीवियस ईयर एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन सो वी विल कीप द नेम एज पीएसएम क्विक रिवीजन विद प्रीवियस ईयर्स पेपर्स इज इट ओके 
that suits all of you psm quick revision with previous year's paper all right <coughs> okay and ek din we will keep for tuberculosis elimination program theek hai otherwise we are having psm quick revision with previous year paper so every day i'll be putting out one paper tomorrow previous year neat pg 2020 paper uske agle din previous year neat pg aims uh, uh, fmg ka koi ek paper then aims 2020 paper so on is it okay all right chalo take care everybody see you at 5 o'clock please use my code dokneha10 get a 10% off on an academy and dear yeah, have a good day all of you study hard don't worry health is your priority okay drop in a few good words on my an academy profile too do visit it once okay